Miguel from Grumo here, and I'm super excited that I've been able to replicate the popular game Wordle using Glide without coding. Again, Glide is a platform to create apps and mobile apps without coding whatsoever. You just drag and drop, and then you can create very beautiful apps in minutes, really. Now, creating this app from scratch would have taken me days or weeks or even months, but thanks to Glide, I've been able to recreate this game in just a couple of days. And basically it does everything that the original game does and even more. So let me show you how it works. Now we are inside the Glide editor and let's pretend we're playing a game. I'm logged in as Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster! And now Cookie Monster is going to guess the word of the day. Which, let's start with, uh, I like the word super. And I also like the word tough. Yeah. And how about, okay, now yes, it should have a G and a U and an O, so let's say group. And uh, yeah, I'm getting some amazing hints here. Let me try this word that I'm very familiar with. Boom, I did it. There you go. So as you can see, it works exactly like the real game, and it even will tell you when the next word is going to happen. In this case, in nine hours and 37 minutes. Now, just for fun, I programmed the word Grumo for today's Wordle. But actually, I have the entire database of words in the back end, right? So there's a bunch of tables here, and we have a dictionary with 12,000 words. This is the actual dictionary that Wordle is using. And there is two dictionaries, one that is easy and one is harder, and you can combine them or not under settings if you want to. But basically these are all the words that could ever appear in the real Wordle. And when I'm not in play mode, every day at midnight, the new word of the day will appear and it will actually match the real word of the day of the New York Times version of this game. How cool is that? And everything programmed without code. Now on top of that, we have a leaderboard and all the players are ranked here by points. And the point system is basically, it's a combination of number of wins and whoever has the least amount of attempts to get those wins gets more points. And then you get here a distribution of guesses. And I can see that I guessed mostly on guess number three and number four. And then the last two words, which are actually words of the day, past words. So I'm not spoiling any of the words in the future uh, that I guess in the second attempt and fourth attempt. And a really cool feature is that if you wanna compete with your family or friends, there's an option here called My Team. And here you can create teams and invite up to 10 friends. And then you can compete to see who does the best playing Wordle. How cool is that? So if you want to play with this version of Wordle, you can do that at grumo.com slash Wordle and then you can play and invite your friends and family. Of course, I encourage that you actually use the real version from the New York Times because obviously they spend a lot of time making that as well. I just wanted to see if it was possible to recreate this really popular game using a no-code tool like Glide. And it was doable, but like I say, there is a lot of logic behind. You can see here we have uh, a bunch of rows. Actually, it doesn't use that many rows. It's using 54 rows right now, which is almost nothing, uh, but then then there's a lot of logic and then the grid here, as you can see, all these computed columns are being used to be able to verify the words and to be able to change the color of the letters as you enter each word, the same as the real game. And then we can store the scores and we have users, etc. So if you want to learn how to create awesome no-code mobile apps like this one, check out my new Glide course at grumo.com go Glide and get a special discount using the coupon YouTube Love. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.